Welcome to our my five years review here in the U.S. That May 13th, that five years ago, I ran down to the airport at two o'clock in the afternoon and picked somebody up. Yep, that's me. That because we'd only been separated about 60 days at that point. Less than 60, 60 70 days at that point. Yeah, less than 60 days, like 55 days basically. I'm not sure, but yeah. Yeah, because uh, from the time they got the, well, from the time we got our runaway one to you had uh, visa in hand was 55 days. Yeah. And it took a couple weeks each end on uh, getting the uh, paperwork to them and then getting your ticket out here because you wanted to stay for Mother's Day that year. Yeah, that's true. And then, yeah, I fly by myself from Manila to Shanghai, Shanghai to Seattle. That's my point of entry, right? Yeah. Seattle and then Phoenix. So what do you think of your last five years here? Um, amazing. <laughs> <laughs> That's my favorite word. <laughs> it's um, interesting, challenging. Um, I would say definitely um, my dream come true. You know, I got my U.S. citizen, got my master's degree. I was able to land on a very good job since I'm wearing different hats. So some of them are my dream jobs. So, <laughs> so I would say amazing. What I was looking for is we'd actually asked a couple people if there was anything that they thought might be kind of cool questions to ask. And one of them said, do you think it's harder to live in the U.S. than in the Philippines? And do you think it costs a lot more to live in the Philippines or uh, U.S. versus Philippines? So um, the first question is, you think harder to live here in the U.S. compared yeah. to the Philippines? That's a good question. Um, Coming from a third world country, I would say it's a lot convenient here in a lot of ways. Yeah, we have our own car. We have our own. Yeah. Uh, a lot of things are, are right here at our fingertips. That it's like the technology too. It's so fast. There's no waiting line. It's just like everything you could done in one day. Like when I got my U.S. citizenship, um, we went for one day for a bureaucrat to just go and okay go to social security update your record and then the, the, our next round go to um country maricopa county to get my passport and then we went to gc so it, you could do things in one day a lot of things yeah so basically it's the convenience here it's just Easy. But the drawback that you've made comment of is Americans are stupid impatient. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> like with anything, that there, there's a lot of give and take. That's true. I guess wherever you are, wherever you leave, it there are always advantage and disadvantage. You might be staying in the Philippines. Yes, I like. Don't get me wrong, I like, I like my country, Philippines. There are also a lot of positive staying in, you know, in the Philippines. You know, the laid back lifestyle, the very simple lifestyle, organic fruits and vegetables and fresh meat and uh, fish. And, you know, I guess that's those are the things that I miss back home. And here in the U.S., over the fast five years I gained more than 10 pounds and now I'm trying so hard to lose weight because the food are processed and everything so yeah. there could be I guess the one thing hard here in the US is the food because with our diet with the choices of food we eat too the, yeah, the food sometimes I'll blame him for the food choices so <laughs> I got big shoulders I'll take the blame <laughs> the, but there again, uh, in the Philippines, we, we may not necessarily have our own car, but you can walk out and walk down the road and, and pick up a tricycle or pick up a jeepney and go where you need to go. 
and then you're a lot more active walking to walking to the tricycle and jeepneys you're a lot more active walking around a public market true uh i will never forget your first time seeing a fish market here in the u.s <laughs> interesting like do you eat those are you sure <laughs> Like you <laughs> was not terribly impressed. <laughs> yeah, basically, yeah. There are a lot of good things happen here, and um, for me in the U.S., like you know, there are pros and cons. Definitely, you know, wherever you go, there could be challenging wherever you go. You know, you know what I mean? Oh yeah. Yeah, someone else asked a question too, so I was going to look that one up real quick. Oh, he asked, what do you think you're going to miss the most? <laughs> that we're going to be moving back. And, yeah, that's going to be a legit thing. And, and that's something you've actually talked about a little bit. I guess the shower, the bubble bath. I'm so selfish. I just learned to do bubble bath. Um, the convenience. Um, here it's so fast. It's just everything just happens so fast. You don't need to wait or wake up four o'clock, three o'clock in the morning to fall in line and be done at around eleven o'clock. You know. So. Basically, there's, I will miss my friends here also. My friends are just around the neighbors. And I guess the one thing I, um, the one thing Filipinos here, the difference of Filipinos leaving here in the US compared to in my country is in the Philippines is when you have birthdays, people bring food, potluck. In the Philippines, if you have birthday, you need to spend your own birthday and you know, so that I guess that's the difference here over the years that Filipinos here who live here in the US learn the American way to like okay bring it or if you go to the restaurant they will pay their own their own bills. In the Philippines you need to spend your own birthday. Yeah. You know, I, I guess that's one thing I will miss. It's like here one thing is like if you celebrate your graduation or anything, it's not like so burden or you know, you will not spend so much even you invite so much people because those people that you're inviting they're bringing food <laughs> and that's the big difference back home <laughs> you know so anyways yeah yeah that's it but uh is there anything that you're gonna miss yeah those things no i mean like um well, you talked about a lot of uh, uh, friends that you're going to miss, and I know that you're going to miss uh, a lot of your friends. But, uh, the shower like hot running water, I told you. Central, air con or central air conditioning. I told you, shower <laughs> and AC, central AC, okay. That, uh, yeah, even Mama and Papa were pretty impressed with central heat and air. Yeah, because everything, the entire house is um, AC. I guess it's a convenience of having a car like let's go let's go even I don't drive but pretty soon I need to drive so no you know like guess in the Philippines yes we have a public transportation but yes we could walk pretty much but you need to wait 30 minutes you know a couple yeah. of minutes and that's a disadvantage about it but anyways there's always a disadvantage and advantage wherever you go pretty much so it's just how you react to those situations you know that uh so it's just your perspective in a lot of things like if if you if people say here in the u.s some people will say living in the u.s is a miserable some people say it's very convenient and comfortable it's just how you perceive things it's just how you react things some people if you live in the philippines you could be a king or whatever it, it just it's a matter of how you react the situation you know you know it makes sense yeah you did do you think it's going to be much of an adjustment going back after being here for so long mm, for me maybe one month two months <laughs> That, uh, uh, do you think you're going to be pretty emotional leaving or do you think you're going to be excited about going home? 
I that's a good question. Fifty fifty. <laughs> <laughs> Getting on the plane, I'm gonna be emotional. Getting off the plane, I'm gonna be excited. I'm home. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because that is a long flight. Yeah, base. Yeah, correct. But so overall, would you recommend it to people or not? Staying in the U.S. Yeah, I tell you, there are thousands or millions of people dream about coming here in the U.S. So I'm grateful. I'm, I came here in the U.S. You know, so, you know, if you see the other perspective, or other outside here in the U.S., there are thousands or millions of people who wants to come here in the U.S., but they are not given that chance yeah. or opportunity recommend yeah of course like you know like if if you didn't get or if you're not lucky enough or that you didn't get the chance to come over you're still grateful they have the home country you know you know what i mean like i, I do and it, it's the u.s may have a lot of faults and fallacies but it's still the best game going i think agreed yeah like there are like okay coming from a Filipino perspective like there are Filipinos that came here and work three jobs like work like a carabao so that they will have a better future a good retirement and mm -hmm. you could actually do that you know if you have a goal and you meet those goals it, it's actually it actually depend on you you know like most of I would say one thing that okay I like the American people but I'm I didn't really appreciate the work ethic that's one thing that I don't really appreciate the work ethics of of the um, uh, American with the new generation. I will not say on the you know other. It's just me, maybe the millennial. You know, don't get me wrong. But I work in a multinational company with m most of them millennial generation, yeah. and I see how struggling it is sometimes. That sometimes you just need to feed the answer to them. I'm like. Dang, like at the back of my mind, like you know, but yeah. that's just my perspective about things, you yeah. Because that was one comment that you made, um, that was kind of funny, and I had to snicker about and share with some other friends. That, uh, you make comment about how easy it was to find a job. Oh, yeah, definitely. For me, like, been here for like five years. Oh my god, I'm so impressed. Like I don't need to walk. I don't need to wait for one or two weeks to have a feedback. Are you hired or not? You know, like you don't have competition. Do you don't have one hundred to two hundred other applicants waiting for a uh, waiting or having an interview? You know what I mean? Like here basically like I guess the largest amount of people that have for that specific position, like maybe 20, yeah. you know, and like, and wow, I'm like, it's just quick and like, okay, you have three job offers in like less than three days, and then one day I have interview, the following hour I have job offer, yeah. you know, that's just my perspective. I guess I, I have faith in God and I have faith in myself. Maybe five years ago, I don't have that same faith, confidence, you know what no, I mean? No, you definitely have grown hugely in that area. Yeah, so, I may be the same, Cindy, that other people know. I'm still the, you know. You've kept the humility, the humbleness, the the caring parts, the, the, the giving parts, but your self-confidence, your self-assertiveness have grown by leaps and bounds. When you first got here, somebody would speak loudly to you and you'd, you'd cower in a corner. That's true. At this point, uh, with, with your with your previous job, that towards the end, you even spoke back to the supervisor when they were wrong and, and you wouldn't, you, you'd let them know, you know, hey, this isn't right, we need to do this. And, and that's something that, that you wouldn't have done even two years ago, I don't think. Yeah, that's true. I became more stronger, courageous, bolder, more confident, and have a lot of faith 
and believe in myself that I could actually do this specific job. Yeah, because you, you, you did. You, you spent three years getting your MBA done while working full time and were able to spread yourself that thin and still come through it and actually succeeded very well in doing so. You, know, you kept your grades way high. Yeah. And whether it was that, whether it was just living, whether it was dealing with me for the last five years, uh, <laughs> your, your confidence and your self-assertiveness and uh, just your overall being in, in that respect has grown hugely. And I, I think that's part of the reason why, because you admitted in this last, uh, the interview, uh, the last interview you had, whether it was for this or one of the other officers, that you went into it and, and you kind of knew that, you know, that, that in the back of your mind, you said, I, I know I've got this. That I, and, and that's something that wouldn't, I wouldn't have seen. That I remember you going for the interview for Paychecks five years or four years ago. That you were terrified. You were almost in thick and tears. <laughs> And it's very cool that a lot of that has has done and grown. That's true. Yeah, I couldn't possibly imagine that. Like, I guess I just have a lot of faith that, okay, I got this, you know, no matter what, you know. What they're going to do, okay, you can find another one. I will not be heartbroken <laughs> anyways. I can always find another job. Oh. But any questions for me? I would say that's it. If anybody's got questions, you're more than welcome to put them in the comments and we'll do the best to answer them as quick as we can in the comments. And stay tuned for Monday's Chica Chica. There's some really cool updates coming. Yep. Ma Buhai! Buhai.